Hello, welcome to DNKS Legacy Productions. Thanks for spending some time with us. I hope you enjoy. And if you like this video at the end, give it a like and subscribe. Alright, today's video. Let me turn that off. Today's video is about a production we did at my church last week. I mentioned it in my last video and I promised some uh, behind the scenes look at what we did. So this is a uh, me keeping my promise on delivering some uh, behind the scenes footage. We used um, NDI and a iPhone 11 as our camera connecting to the system that we already have which consists of vMix and an ATEM Mini Pro with four cameras connected. Um, we use the ATEM to control our cameras. We use vMix to control the stream and the graphics for the productions. And we added the NDI camera by using, well, we added another camera, a fifth camera, using NDI with um, with the iPhone. We used the NDI HX camera uh, app. Um, it's a paid app, so it costs twenty bucks, but it actually worked. Um, I'm not actually promoting this for other telephones other than with the iPhone because if you go on the app site and look for for in the Android app store and look for the app it has bad reviews because with other phones it doesn't work that great the iPhone it worked fine with and I can only vouch for the iPhone 11 because that's what I used it with um, in order to get it to work since NDI works through a network we set up a we have a, a network at the church for the communications ministry but well, we actually set up a, uh, we added some more access points so that we can have better coverage and have less problems with dropping out of the signal. So um, we had to add access points. We added an access point inside the church and another outside in the vestibule, which is where the ceremony um, took place, which is why we had to add a camera because our cameras face the front of the church. We do have a camera that can capture the back of the church, but not all the way into the uh, vestibule. So we um, we needed coverage in the vestibule. And um, the ATEM that we have only carries four cameras, although we could have done it and used three. Um, we have a cable to run down in there, but we weren't sure of the location. And it was easier for us to just try something new and try the NDI. Um, input and we did that the uh, ATEM doesn't take an NDI input we added the NDI input directly through vMix and it worked out great when we switched cameras um, from the NDI camera coming directly into vMix over to the ATEM cameras we weren't ha we didn't have any problems with latency the um, so latency was not a problem. The network was more than fast enough. Late, we did not have a problem with latency. The switching from cameras. Um, if you watch the video at the end that I'm going to put in here, you'll see that there really was not a latency problem from shifting from one camera to the other camera as they walked down the aisle. The only other thing... Um, I have one more. The only slight problem we had is because of the walls are so thick, which is why we had to put use uh, several access points and basically create a Wi-Fi mesh. Is because the wall, the t the concrete wall, con there's a concrete stone and brick wall between the vestibule and the church proper which is probably about a foot or two thick 
So the Wi-Fi signal from the access point in the vestibule area could easily be blocked when the camera walks through that uh, lobby entrance. Um, that's why we had to access, add an access point inside the church. Although we had access points, we wanted to make sure we had extra coverage between the two. So we added extra ha um, access points. We actually had four or five different access points set up to make sure that we could have a good signal because we actually were setting up to start outside, but it it was raining because of a tropical storm in the area, so we weren't able to start outside. We had to start in the vestibule, but you'll see you'll see a slight delay, it's a couple of drop frames going through that wall, but overall everything was uh, very successful. And um, without further ado, we'll have a word from our sponsor, which is DNKS Legacy Productions. And then the behind the scenes, uh, kind of showing how what we did to set up, showing some spots where the access points were to make sure. And, and there's one spot, it's not actually going through the walls we did for the shoot, but shows you how thick the walls in the, um, in the church are, which is why we had to go through all the things we did to make sure we had good Wi Fi coverage because it was easy. we didn't want to use wires if we didn't have to and it made for less of a tripping hazard because we weren't sure of the setup all the way up until the last minute and how things were going to go so the wireless worked out much better so here we go Well, it wasn't perfect, but it actually worked. I don't know if I'm going to be able to go outside because it was a little choppy once I got out the door. So, don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh. I promise I'm behind the scenes, so this is it. Have a great day. Uh, all right, now I'm recording. I just hit the, I'm down at the church setting up the NDI. And actually the picture on my screen looks better than the picture in the telephone, so, well, some, um, I forgot what you call it, but it's, I don't have a lot of light in here because the church is closed, and I didn't turn on all the lights, I just came in so I could test this, okay, because I need to see to deploy all of my I have to deploy it's be even darker over here I have to deploy all of my access points I'm getting to do that oh, that's better I have to deploy these access points in different spots to make sure I don't lose the signal tomorrow. I'll go down and see. Anyway, I'm gonna set these access points out and see what happens, and then I'll be back. I'll turn this off. My access points placed. I'll turn this video. So I can see if I'm out there. 
Now we bolt one signal. So far, so good, but you see how thick the concrete walls are. Not concrete, but stone and brick and every daggone thing else you can think of is in here. Now, getting to the point where I can't, I soon won't be able to see the monitor anymore. But there's an access point right there, so I should be able to go down without any problems. This point we got stringing up right there. Uh, that's temporary. Now I need to see. I know it should get me at least to the door. But I don't know if it's gonna get me outside the door. Probably good, but I need to see where I can stand outside the door. If I'm sick, I only be able to take him from inside. So. Excuse my finger. Tomorrow I'll have this on a rig so that my finger won't, nothing ever get. Make sure we go that power because the camera is up. A lot of battery. And let's see. I'm still. Oh, yes. It looks like. We're in good shape. Now, I need to watch because I still have a signal on there. So, let's go back and watch the recording and see how we did. Okay, stop recording. Can you see us? Oh yeah, there's Rick. All right. You see, we still got a picture. Start go in. 
I'll just come this way and watch them go down the aisle. Then wherever you pick them up at, yeah. it's going to be on you after that. All right. Okay. The only thing that causes a problem if you Pass have to it. go through that door. Okay. And okay. actually, because we have a, one up there too, mm -hmm. it just hesitates for a second. And it picks up my second side. Okay. Good then. All righty. Yes. Please, please turn and face the door of the church. In the name of Archbishop Perez, Father McConan, I entrust to you this parish church. Dedicated under the title of St. Martin de Porres, this church is above all a house of prayer, a temple of worship, a home in which the faithful are nourished by the word of God and the sacraments of the church. It is the dwelling place of God on earth, a temple built of living stones, founded on the apostles with Jesus Christ as its cornerstone. It is here that through the waters of baptism, God's people die to sin and live again through grace as adopted children of God. Here they receive the gift of the Holy Spirit and gather around the altar to celebrate the memorial of the Paschal Lamb, being fed and nourished by Christ's body and blood. Here they celebrate the sacraments of healing and reconciliation so that they might experience the peace which only Christ can give them. It is here that men and women are united in marriage to be a sign of the love Christ has for his church. It is here that those who have died are brought by their loved ones to be commended to the loving mercy of God. Father McConan, may you always serve the faithful of St. Martin de Porres Parish with zeal, fidelity, and sincere devotion, so that all people, may come to know Jesus Christ, our only true High Priest and Shepherd. 